Okay, so let's start first, if we could, Max, with this video. So the video is now out there. She's being seen walking with a rather brisk step uh, for someone who had had surgery not too long ago. Is the palace confirming that this is in fact Kate and William out? No, so this was, um, as we understand it, video taken by another customer at this farm shop and uh, handed to the Sun, which is now distributing it, and we, we believe it's real, and it's from the weekend. And uh, it, uh, not to delve into too many of the conspiracy theories, but they look very happy together and she looks very well. Uh, of course, uh, they've gone into such a frenzied state that even with this video, uh, there's all sorts of analysis of the uh, images you're seeing here and whether or not indeed they're real, uh, whether or not these are body doubles or AI has been used. Um, there's no evidence of any of that, but I, I think it speaks to, you know, how, you know, this conversation has blown up in really bizarre ways where normally we wouldn't have questioned uh, pieces of video like this. But I think for many of the genuine fans, it's really reassuring to see that she is indeed well when we've had so little information from the palace. And that, that lack of information, mm. I, I am familiar with all, all the things, right? We keep calm, we carry on, never complain, never explain. But the late queen also said you have to be seen to be believed. So Absolutely. if you put all of that together, it of course does fuel some of these crazy theories that we've seen out there and some of the legitimate concern. Is it your sense, and I don't think we'd ever hear this publicly, but is it your sense internally that there is a recognition that this was perhaps not handled as well as it could have been? Uh, certainly the backlash, I mean, uh, the, I think um, from Prince William's point of view, you know, having sort of worked with him for many years, his view what would have been, I think, it's safe to say, uh, that Kate was going to hospital and needed to have a plan. And uh, they, he accepted that the public needed some information, but he wasn't going to reveal it all. He see, saw it as private, so they set out this plan that they'd say she was in hospital. Uh, they would give an update that, saying that she was well, and then they would say when they expected to appear back at work, which is Easter, and they're just not uh, moving from that plan. I think that is um, the reality of their view. Uh, of course, in the meantime, we've had these doctored pictures released. Mm -hmm. uh, first one that you talked about was from Mother's Day, and now Getty images have gone through previous um, handouts, as we call them, from the palace, where we don't know really what happened because we were just given them. And they've come up with this other one, which was photographed by Kate again in 2022, released last year. Um, they're not clear, they're not saying this is necessarily manipulated, but they are certainly saying there's some issues with it and they're looking into it further. They've labeled it saying they can't verify that there's a true representation effectively of what happened in that moment. So this uh, is a massive problem with the communication strategy at the palace because it speaks to the idea that there is some sort of cover up going on, even though it could have all been perfectly innocent. Uh, but they're not changing tack. They're not giving us more information. They're not giving us the original photos. And as you said, William is up in Sheffield today uh, carrying out a regular engagement and not addressing any of this at all.